Hey there guys, watch this before getting Zencaster. This is gonna be an honest review on this tool and I'm gonna get right into some of these tools and some of the competitors and just give my honest opinion on what I think of Zencaster. So this tool is actually pretty cool, right? So Zencaster started because they kind of prioritized audio recording only, right? But then this tool quickly realized that they started to get behind with video recordings. So one of the biggest competitors is probably known as Riverside, right? Riverside.fm. And I've recorded a couple episodes with both both of these tools and I gotta say that Riverside really prioritizes video and Zencaster really kind of prioritizes audio so one big key feature that Riverside has over Zencaster is it has a built-in video editor that helps use AI to edit your videos right after you shot them some of the downsides of these tools both of them they are both browser focused so it takes a minute to kind of upload things this is the video editor right here and it's just lagging because I have so many things running and it takes a minute but there's a built-in video editor and it has AI features and a lot of times you can use it to kind of auto edit your podcast because it will remove all the spots dead air it will enhance your audio what I'm saying here is Riverside really kind of prioritizes video and you can add captions to your videos as well within the video editor they actually have a spot where you can add b-roll to kind of add cooler images as you're talking which I think is huge but Zencaster is really kind of seamless I kind of compare it to StreamYard it's a little like just easier to use than Riverside so if you're like not super technical and you're looking for something just like turnkey go this is kind of it and what's cool is you can change all the settings in here to kind of like work with whatever cameras and microphones you're using and then you can also add people you can invite them by email or just send them a link just like StreamYard. so as far as pricing comparisons of Zencaster and Riverside I checked this monthly plan and it seems the grow plan is kind of the most popular it's 30 bucks a month that shoots up to 4k video quality and Riverside is really close the pro plan shoots up to 4k and it's $29 a month so they are like super comparatively priced one thing I did notice is that Zencaster is a lot easier to use and has less settings in the recording studio let me show you so if I click out a Zencaster and we go to Riverside here and we get into the actual recording studio what's crazy is they're like very similarly designed like look at the design of Zencaster and then look at the design of Riverside I feel like maybe the same company owns these two I don't know maybe not okay so if we click on record here or actually let's go back to the Riverside dashboard click on record I'm gonna open up the actual recording studio I can use the Osmo pocket 3 as my camera um, am I using headphones no join studio all right so as you can see here there's just more settings that I can play with like the recording info I can change the frame rates the gigahertz for the audio whatever you call it kilohertz I can change the brandability of all this stuff I can put text on the screen I can add media while I'm playing and again I could do that in Zencaster I could add audio I can change the layout I can do like a grid and one big key difference is I can share the screen check this out if I click the share button I can click screen and then this pops up I can share any window browser window or any software safe like I wanted to share my video editor like my cap cut video editor right there I could share that let's click share and now I'm sharing it so and then when I'm I could do something on screen here then I can click stop sharing and then it just goes back my computer's gonna die because I have so much going on there's multiple cameras please stay with us. So in my honest review on this guys if you're looking for more customizing like features and coolness like the video editor is in Riverside my honest review on Zencaster is it's decent and it's turnkey ready to go and simple for like non techie people but for the same price Riverside offers a little bit more and again what's cool is you guys will get free trials to both of these tools if you use my affiliate links in the description they're very similarly priced they have just like one's a little more simpler and one has a lot more fancy settings and again let me know in the comments what you're gonna go with and let me know like are you doing podcasting like what are you looking to record because I do you know I feel like sometimes I make these videos and it just goes into the void and I want to hear back from you on like the feedback and what you're trying to do with your stuff your content again all the links to guides and products or software tools will be in the description consider subscribing I'm just a normal dude doing cool videos like this and trying I guess all right guys I'll see you in the next one